faculty are usually working in isolation. We have various schedules. We don't uh, have a lot of time to sit down and actually collaborate quite often. We are adapting materials from other people or textbooks to get through our lessons. If we do have uh, questions or difficulties, it might be speaking to someone in passing or trying to meet up just on the side. It's not really um, formalized in any way. With lesson study, there's a framework that we follow. So we're, we meet with intention. We make sure that we can all set our schedules to be uh, simultaneously able to meet and plan. It is pretty extensive. So we have to make sure that we can actually meet two hours at a time every other week for a certain period of time to make sure that we are um, able to work together. Uh, we only meet with the idea that we are going to trust one another. We'll be able to be open and not feel any way criticized for our thinking. Um, that's not something that's easy to do. So we set up norms in the beginning. Um, we agree upon our expectations, what we're looking for before we even start. Because if we can't trust one another, uh, it's not going to get very far. Um, so we need to be able to feel that we're safe in the environment when we are meeting. Um, and these are things that I've never experienced before with my peers. Um, generally in meetings, it's, you know, once a term, once maybe twice a term and move on to the next thing. This one is focused. We, we pick something and we focus on it and we build upon it throughout 10 weeks of a cycle. what topic we wanted to choose uh, and really focus on that the students were having a huge barrier was um, dimensional analysis. So our math literacy program has a huge emphasis on that. And we just couldn't get the students to really make connections with that. Knowing that though, we realized that we had to back up. We couldn't just start with dimensional analysis. So we had to back up to build up the skills and help them develop the skills they needed to really truly understand the, what they were doing with dimensional analysis. So our first uh, topic stepped back several lessons and we looked at just measurement. What does it mean to measure and why are we measuring and what are we using to measure? What are units? Just to kind of build that, that background to help them be more successful when they got to the dimensional analysis portion. Well, the structure itself, I would have to say several things. First of all, um, having a framework where we are actually sitting down and analyzing not just a topic, like generally, you know, you, oh, I'm going to write a lesson for this topic. We usually just say, okay, here's the topic. This is the concept. I want to teach this concept. I need to get it across. So uh, let me make a PowerPoint or let me do a little Kahoot thing or something. That's, that wasn't how we approached it. And lesson study is not necessarily about the topic. And it's more about how do we actually teach something so that we can reach that global overall research theme that we're looking at. So we want to make sure that we are, what we develop is going to be something that actually touches upon the perseverance and the, the confidence that we're trying to build in our students. 